first game of Arsenal won in the friendly. We've seen the likes of Maquinos. Maquinos. Is it Maquinos? We've seen Gabriel. We've seen Gabriel Magales to score in the 19th minute. Edin Ketia, 33rd minute. And Fabio Vieira in the 39th minute. Meaning that Arsenal got it done in the first half. And they went half time when they're really leading by three goals to nil. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner, that's a place to be. Subscribe to this channel so as not to be thrown stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Today, Arsenal has played its second game. That is their friendly. The first one was played at London Cornley. It was, by, it was behind it was behind closed doors. Arsenal was beaten by four goals to two. But remember, Arsenal conceded more when when the when the reserves came in through because they made 11 changes instead of 11 changes and obviously Arsenal found itself in the losing seat so after that Arsenal have gone ahead to do the needful and win this game of football by three goals to nil but afterward they also went in penalties I think it's just another part of the tournament they're in in Dubai Lyon has been beaten by Arsenal three goals to nil so let me get to you how Arsenal started Arsenal had the following they had Hayne in goal Cedric Soares right back Rob Holding left back then Gabriel Magales was the Sorry, Rob Holding was playing on the right side of the central defense. Gabriel Magalis was playing onto the left side of the central defense. Let me get it on your screen to be exact. Then this thing, I need, I, I, need, I need to make it beta. I need to make it beta such that it brings Arsenal only. Why is it bringing even another team? It has to be bringing one team only and only one team. Not so? That was supposed to be... All right. All right. That is the starting 11 of Arsenal. They played a system of 4-3-3. Hayne was in goal. Cedric Soares was playing as a right back. Kian Tien was playing as a left back. Rob Holding, right side of the central defense. Gabriel Magales, left side of the central defense. El Nini Mohamed playing onto the central defensive midfield sambi lokonga on the left shoulder of el nini odegaard playing on the right shoulder of el nini Nketia was leading the lion race nelson was playing as a left attack midfielder and fabio Vieira was playing as a right attacking midfielder or a right forward then we go to the side of leon where where the former arsenal vice captain or captain when a bomb young left that is lacazette they had el lopez then M. Gusto right back, Diom Diomande and Lukeba in the central defense, Henrique playing as a left back, Fevri playing as a right winger, Awa, Hussein Awa, you know him, Arsenal wanted him for a very long time, playing on the left wing, then Kakweret playing as a central defensive midfielder as Tolly, so you know him very well. He was at Bayern Munich, now he's playing at Lyon, he was playing as a central attack midfielder. Then Moussa Dembele and Alexandre Lacazette played as the centre forwards. And it's really something great for a team which goes by the names of Arsenal to see that they've not considered a goal in the 90 minutes they've played when they're defending alongside Moussa Dembele and Lacazette. Because one will say that an Arsenal side maybe looked like light, but it was not light because if I told you, you know what light means. Arsenal was playing almost with the same team that play today in the UEFA Europa League and they used to win games and the only game they lost was against PSV and that was away in Holland but it shows you that Arsenal are really having a very good team with most of the some of the players out like Ramsdale was out Ben White was out Saliba was out Zichenko was out Thomas Pate was out Grant Xhaka was out Gabriel Jesus was out, Martinelli was out, and Bukayo Saka was out. Almost 11 or 10 players were out of this team, but Arsenal can go ahead and really perform at a at a very high level to go on and really score three goals in the 90th minute. So I believe people who say that Arsenal is really having a thin squad, then they need to come out and really and really re-edit their statements because Arsenal doesn't have a thin squad. Guys, Arsenal just needs to go on and reinforce, especially in the center forward area however much edin Ketty has gone ahead to score in two consecutive games of arsenal because even the game of watford he scored even in this game of 
Leon has gone ahead to score one goal. It shows you that he's showing, he's, he's making a very huge statement that even if Gabriel Jesus is injured, I can lead the line and score goals for Arsenal. But the problem is, what if he also gets injured? What are they going to do? I've seen narratives on social media urging Mikel Arteta to go on and put and put uh, Martinelli to lead the line of a team which goes by name of Arsenal. That is a total lie. You can't put Martinelli to lead the line. So that means Arsenal should go in for another centre forward or they should develop another player to come in and really get that job done immediately. So I believe it has been a very, very, very good result and it has sent a very huge statement to a team of Pep Guardiola that is Man City because Arsenal is known for jokes. If anyone thought that Arsenal is for jokes, they aren't for jokes and they are ready to go on and face any team that is into the level that they are playing at right now because they've shown us that they can go all out and win games of football even with nine players out because Lyon is one of the big teams that is playing into the French League One and look at their look at the lineup they had let's be real look at the lineup they had a team that has Hussein Awalak as it Moussa Dembele it's not an easy team, Toliso, but they went ahead to really beat it in the first half. And it was not that they lost the game of football in the second half when all these teams made close to 11 changes. Because Arsenal, at the beginning of the second half, they made close to 9 changes. And, and um, Lyon made close to 11 changes at the beginning of the second half. Meaning that Arsenal won the first half by 3 goals to nil. And the second half, when they all changed their teams, no team went ahead to score a goal. It shows you that Arsenal won the first half and drew the second half so it shows you that Arsenal really has a squad and when you look at this lineup of Arsenal it can it can shock very many Premier League teams but the problem is its consistency and creativity will be lacking that's it but this team of Arsenal is not an easy one because it is really great so I believe Arsenal have gone ahead to win their first game of the pre-season World Cup break and they are really looking great and better. And when they return, when they will come, the likes of Xhaka, Tomiyasu, Thomas Partey, Zinchenko, obviously you will expect more and more and more and more from these players of a team which goes by names of Arsenal because they are really doing a very, very good job. But the first goal came in from a set piece and I would love to go on and hail the manager of Arsenal who really signed Nicolas Jova. And Nicolas Jova has helped Arsenal a lot because I think Arsenal has never scored set-piece goals than they have in the entire season than they have done this one. You know how many set-piece goals Arsenal have scored this season? They scored two in the Leicester City game. They scored one in the game against Crystal Palace. They scored... Um, there is one they scored against Chelsea. There is one they scored against um, Brentford. Which other? The goal that won the game of Fulham came in from a set piece. It was Gabriel Magales who scored it. The other one was... Uh, they've scored close to eight, a minimum of eight goals this season when they're coming from set pieces. It shows you how man Nicolas Jova is doing it. And today when you saw how Gabriel Magales won that header, it shows you how exact this guy is. And obviously, those are training goals. You see, the reason as to why these games are played is to show, is to show and perfect what they practice in training sessions. So, Nicolas Jova might be one of the happiest men in the world because the players are really going ahead to go on and do the needful. The other player I want to talk about is, is Fabio. Fabio Vieira is really a very fantastic player and I believe he's really going to go on to make wonders and very many wonders because Mikel Ateta believes that he can play as a right forward all come in and play into the position of Bukayo Saka. And making him play that position, it shows you that Arsenal's positions are really changing. All priorities in the transfer window are really changing. Why are they changing? Because they really want to go ahead and bring in loads and loads and loads of different players to come in at Arsenal to do different things altogether. They, the reason why they want to bring in Mikhail Modric is to increase onto the attack force, but the, the plan has to be revisited to see whether to bring in Mikhail Modric or to bring in a centre forward to come in and help a club which goes by the names of Arsenal. Because you bring in a centre forward at Arsenal to help you in these two, three months when when Gabriel Jesus is away. But when he returns, what does it mean to the centre forward and Mikel Arteta? That's the busiest thing and that's the very huge question to ask. So that's why I believe Arsenal should go on and look in for centre forward who is supposed to play, who, so who, sorry, who can play 
in various other positions like a center attacking midfielder, left attacking midfielder, and right attacking midfielder because it's rare to see Arsenal playing a system of two center forwards and I believe it's really going to work for them like a charm if at all they put it in order and bring them very 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 close so I believe Arsenal is really going to go ahead and really make a very huge huge huge, huge signing in the January transfer window but the good thing is that players are really firing in now let's go to what we call the match stats as how the game of football was Arsenal Arsenal went ahead to have 19 shots, Lyon had eight. It shows you how good Arsenal was. Eight, eight shots on target by Arsenal. I really like it because they were less by like one to be half of the two number of shots they created. That's why you saw them score three, close to three goals because to be on a very secure side, you must be having half the number of shots on target. You must be having half the number of shots you've had in the entire game on target and Arsenal have had eight that's where they scored three goals Lyon had two and it shows you how good the defense of Arsenal was 47 percent possession Mikel Arteta will call for more but I believe it changed more in the second half but in the first half Arsenal had a lion's share of the possession 53 percent for Lyon then 468 passes completed by Arsenal 521 passes completed by Lyon 88% Eight, passing accuracy for Arsenal, 90% passing accuracy for Lyon, 9 fouls committed by Arsenal, and obviously 10 fouls committed by Lyon. 0 yellow cards to both sides, 0 red cards to both sides, 1 offside to Arsenal and 0 to Lyon, 5 corners for Arsenal and 9 for Lyon. Those were the match starts and that's how they really went down in Lyon. When they went to penalties, Arsenal won by 2-1. Obviously, this game of football happened at what we call Al Maktoum Stadium, that is in Dubai. When they went to penalties, Arsenal won on penalties by two goals to one, meaning that in every aspect of this game that was competitive, Arsenal went ahead to do the needful and really win the game of football. So, the penalties went as follows. The first person to take a penalty of Arsenal, I think it was... Uh, who was the first to take a penalty? Let me check here. I want to be exact. Arsenal took... Arsenal took... K. Hayne made four saves. And Arsenal put three penalties away. That's why the game of football ended like that. Thank you guys for watching again. Sign up for now. See you later as your reactions are welcome. In the comment section below. Tell me who your man of the match was according to you. I'll return with the player ratings maybe later. But I'm having huge more stories to come in through as far as the World Cup is concerned. Because tomorrow, it's Brazil versus Croatia and Argentina versus Netherlands. I'm out.